All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we've got Bengaluru FC head coach Marco Pezzaioli with us um, to speak ahead of Bengaluru FC's match against Hyderabad FC. Uh, those who have a question can click on the raise hand icon and uh, I will take it. Sandeep, do you want to start? Sandeep? I think you're on mute. All right, Ashim, Ashim, do you have a question? Uh, hello, Coach. Uh, coach, can you give a fitness update on uh, Prince Ibarra? What's the situation right now? Uh, Prince Ibarra is testing right now, um, but 100% we don't know. We have tomorrow morning again a training session and we will see how his um, adductors uh, are reacting. And uh, yeah, then uh, we know he can be in the squad or not. The same is for Udanta. And same is for Iman, and the same is for King. Okay. <coughs> Sandeep, do you have a question? I think Sandeep's having a bit of technical difficulty. Uh, Ashim, um, Sudarshan, questions? Uh, yeah, I can go. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, uh, in the last match, uh, until Prince Ibarra was there, you had a definite plan and uh, you seem to be on the right track and things sort All right, of... Coach, um, you've watched uh, Hyderabad play a few matches already. They've played one lesser than us, but uh, we have the same number of uh, points. Um, you watched their game against Mumbai as well, where they um, came out to the win. What is your assessment of them and what do you expect from them going into tomorrow's match? Um, there was now two questions of two kind of persons, but I make the last question now first, the Hyderabad questions. Um, I think it will be a difficult uh, game because uh, Hyderabad did well against Mumbai, so all games of Hyderabad, of course, as a coach. Um, they are a mix of good youngsters who played in the under-23 as well and a good uh, experienced player, also foreign player. One part is also one and knows how we want to play. and. Uh, that is the part they want to play football. They have good uh, transition. They have quick players, experienced player like Ojikbe in front, a uh, good heading player by, with set pieces. It's a good team. Is I, I think one of the better teams in the league, and it's be a really tough game. But I think uh, when we start, uh, we play like a Mumbai game. We on the right way, and uh, to make a uh, Hyderabad game as well difficult against us. Sorry, I've just been told Sudarshan was asking a question when I uh, interrupted him. Sudarshan, please go ahead. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, I just wanted to uh, ask you what your assessment was of, of the last uh, game. Because in the previous in the post-match uh, interview, you did uh, mention about uh, a few individual mistakes. So what has been your assessment of that and your approach going into this game? Yeah, again, against Mumbai, I think we won was uh, the best game what we did because we developed uh, the, our our um, how I say our style, how we want to play is to get the ball as soon as possible back. That's what we did. Yeah, we, we press very high and we get the ball very good and fast. The counter pressing was very good in the last game as well. Um, what I asked the player to do it better to come fast as possible behind the defense line. That's what we did also. We created also from the beginning on chances. We, we, Mumbai didn't play in the first half at all. And uh, only with uh, long balls and not uh, how they can do do it with quality in the middle. We, they had no chance to play forward, like in very good organized style, only with long balls. That's why we did it very well. Um, what I'm not really happy about the Mumbai game, it's uh, the set pieces and the defending part. Because when you see the first goal, what we get and the penalty, uh, we could defend better 
like Goodwit can take the ball better, I think, already in the air before it goes to Alan's hands. And the second goal was a free kick of Paul that we discussed already before uh, and analyzing. And that's we defend not well because also we had a change of Prince Ibarra. Prince went out and he was taking charge of Paul and, uh, and the player who was uh, taking over. He did, didn't defend well. It was too much space to him. And that's his quality. Paul last season he scored a lot of goals. And that was the problem. And that's why, why we get the second goal. And uh, that was. Uh, uh, one of the key points, and also, you know, we missed now two penalties. It means um, we are missing minimum four points of these two penalties. Because I think when you go against Mumbai 2-1 in advance, and how, how we played in the first half, it gets difficult to uh, for Mumbai to come back. You know, And uh, I think that's uh, really ticker is a really important situation for us. Uh, also to have positive results, because when you have four points more, Odisha game, we lost 3-1 because we Missed the penalty now again. We lost three one because of losing the penalty. I think that's an important game because we can talk about how we play. We play good, you know. Really, when you see every game now, we play better and better and better because we are playing games. You know, in the preseason when you don't have enough games because of the the really big break in uh, India, um, you see you play good and then you you're on the top on the on the on the table. That's just. Uh, but these four points we are missing, that's why we are not on the top of the table. That's why we need to be better in this situation, shooting penalty and also defend better because also we need to be to have a clean sheet as well. You know, we consider too easy two uh, goals and that's uh, killing our style of game. All right, we have a couple of questions from um, Sandeep. Uh, Sandeep says the first half against Mumbai was good. Can we ex expect a similar type of football tomorrow? Also, how difficult is it to maintain that rhythm for 90 minutes? I think it was not only 90 minutes, not only 45 minutes. I think in the second half as well. After the 2-1, two, two, I agree. Uh, Mumbai get more space. Uh, after 60, minutes, 60, 70 minutes, they had better ball position because we give them more and more space. But um, I, I hope we go the same intensity in the game. And uh, we try to get early as possible the ball. We want to play football. And uh, this is the key point also for Hyderabad. Of course, that we play every three days. I think no nobody do this in the world, football. Yeah, um, to play every two and three days. I think it's also not good for nobody. No team is uh, deserved to play like this. And also to have high quality with less mistakes, with less injury, it's getting difficult in this in this kind of system yeah but we we are in india we need to adapt to this system but it's not good for the football at all coach uh, the second part of sandeep's question is kwanan was a big player for bengaluru fc how is he looking to playing how are you looking to playing against him and do you give uh, hyderabad fc some kind does do you think he'll give hyderabad fc some kind of idea how bengaluru fc wants to play he knows he knows 100% how he wants to play he was uh, with me working uh, in March till the summer, till the FC Cup in uh, Male. Um, he knows how we want to play. Of course, he's a great player with a great history of BFC. He give a lot of, uh, um, how to say, value to the BFC team, but still in the end last season, he was also missing the team, you know, and uh, the team end in the end of position seven. It was not really good season. And, um, yeah, but we know his uh, good things, but also we know his weak weakness. That's also one advantage. Maybe we know. Um, in the end, we need to play our style. He'll tell everything what we do. He knows our player as well. Uh, he knows also our um, weak points. Uh, but in the end, shows the game. When we start tomorrow evening, we need to be really better than the opponent. And one can give a lot of points. But uh, we have enough quality also to beat them. Which is, of course, sure. All right, Anantajit, you have a question. Um, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, uh, I hope I'm audible. Yes, we yes. can hear you. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello, coach. Uh, so I just wanted to, like you've already reflected on, uh, it hasn't been uh, the best start after four games. Uh, but do you think some of these results that have been like the losses and the draw, do you think it's better that uh, these are coming early on in the season so that you can, you can, you know, make up for the mistakes as the season progresses, especially with, uh, you know, you playing games every two, three days? First of all, it was not the bad start. Also, not uh, for me, it was not a bad start. You know, uh, we can make some things better. That's I think. Yeah, when we when we score the penalties, we talk about already different situation. But maybe we have four or six points more. Yeah, because it's a important situation in the football. You know, um, um, for example, when you see uh, the game uh, Mumbai against Etika, yeah, when the referee decide to make two mistakes uh, one offside goal and one hand goal decide the game and then you cannot talk it was a bad start or a good start you know that's uh, influence the game and also for us was influenced the, the penalty you know uh, for the game i think very important part uh, especially when you play against mumbai you go 2-1 in advantage and how we play how we invest a lot you can win the game in the end, you know, that means already you have a different uh, situation. And then we don't talk about the bad starting. Yeah, you, I'm more a person, you can start off details, not good things and uh, details, good things, you know. Okay, we can defend better. That's I agree. It was not good defending how we played in the last game. Um, the two situations where we considered the first and the second and third goal as well. Uh, that's we need to improve. But when you see the game of all, I think we have the opponent has very less chances in all three game or four games we had right now. When I see in the league, there are more, much more chances during the game in, in all teams. That we, we give the opponent not many chances against us. Now the, the problem is the less chances they have to score goals. This is our problem and we need to, to work better to have a clean sheet. I think that is uh, one part that's very important for the game against Hyderabad to have a clean sheet, 100%. All right, do we have any more questions? All right, thank you so much, Coach, for joining us. Uh, thank you to everybody else as well. Can I, can I do something more? Because I need to inform Post you good. also. Uh, one player, when he went out of the bubble, uh, Satak, he has a family issue and he will not join the next months with us. Maybe he cannot play anymore this season. He's now there. He went already twice out. He has 16 days already quarantine uh, after we arrived here uh, because uh, there's some uh, illness in the family. And now he went again out. This means uh, he's not available for the game, next games till maybe January, February or at the end of the season. You see, uh, the bubble makes it difficult to help the family. And uh, in the end, the teams are suffering, I think. But sometimes uh, there is more important than football is the life of the family. That is more important. Thank you but for the update. Yeah, good. OK, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody else, for joining us. OK, bye.